I've been a solar ambassador for Solar Oregon for a couple of years, and we've been uh, solar enthusiasts from way back, uh, my husband and Andy and I. Um, since back about the 1990s, uh, when we watched our friend uh, convert his car to a solar car, it was a Datsun truck, and before he did that, he uh, installed solar panels on his apartment building and bought batteries to put in his basement um, from Russia. And it was about a three-year project that he worked to um, get his apartment building to be off-grid. And that was back in the 1990s. So it was a huge project for him, and it was fun for us to watch him. And then in about 2001, we learned about the uh, inverters that would allow you to intertie your solar panels to the grid. And so that eliminated the need for batteries in your house. And to us, that was the key to make solar energy something that just anybody could do. You didn't have to be uh, real knowledgeable about electricity or batteries. You could just go hire a contractor to put it on your roof. And so that's what we did in 2001. We put a 2K system on our garage, which face, faces south. Um, and that was great. We started uh, watching our electricity usage and started trying to um, reduce our consumption as much as we could, got good appliances, um, compact fluorescent lights, all that good stuff. And we were making about uh, half of what we used in a year with our solar panels. So um, around 2007, we noticed that the incentives from the EcoTrust and the tax breaks in Oregon um, were really amazing. And also the inverters and the panels had gotten more efficient. So we went ahead and bought uh, a second array, another 2K array, and put that on our house. So that gave us 4K. Um, and it turned out we were making more electricity than what we used in a year. Um, so I think it was in 2009, uh, we actually had to give back 800 kilowatt hours to um, Pacific Power. Uh, because they don't allow you, they'll give you credits month by month when you uh, make more electricity than you use. So in the summer, you know, you're making a lot more and then in the winter you use up those credits. But if after a year you've got some left, they take them back because they don't want people becoming mini, you know, power generators, <laughs> putting in thousands of panels all over the place. So, um, so that's a little disincentive. But, you know, they give it to a good cause. They give it to um, folks who can't pay their um, electricity bills and that sort of thing. So, but here we we were sitting there thinking, okay, we got 700 kilowatt hours um, that we're not using. Um, what should we do? <laughs> and then we heard about the leaf, and it was perfect timing. Uh, we were excited. We had been watching electric cars over the years, you know, going down to the EcoPDX place on Sandy and seeing what was available. And the LEAF for us was the first car that was mass produced. It was a looked like, it felt like a real car. Um, you could go 65 miles an hour on the freeway if you wanted to. So um, we signed up, we got on their waiting list and uh, waited a year <laughs> until, well, I guess the uh, tsunami kind of delayed things a little bit, so, um, but finally ours came a year ago in 2011, June, and we, we plugged her in. We got in on the EV project, which was um, a project that for the early adopters, they were collecting data on how you um, drove and how you charge, and they're still collecting that data. And they gave us our charging station at home for free. So um, that was a benefit, and uh, so we've had it for a year, it's been great. We're now uh, using a little more electricity than we make. <laughs> it turned out the LEAF uh, about doubled what we use, uh, yeah, doubled what we use in a year. 
Um, we're pretty low users of electricity because we have efficient appliances and we have a lot of gas appliances. Um, so the leap was about twice as much. And the good thing about having a leaf um, is that you can go to uh, time of use metering, which you pay less at night than in the morning for electricity than you, than you use. So um, with a leaf, you generally charge at night. So that's perfect for time of use. You plug it in, so you're getting all that electricity at a lower cost. And then during the day, when you're using your electricity, you're paying, um, or yeah, you're paying the higher cost. So, uh, so it works out really well. And last year, we, um, <laughs> with our leaf, I went back and I added up all of our electrical, our electric bills. And last year, we spent a total of uh, $225 on electricity. That included the leaf and our house. And 130 of that was just uh, the PPL base fee, which they charge you 10 bucks a month just, you know, to be connected to the grid, which is, um, you know, that's fine. They're, they're giving us a service. Everybody has to pay for that. Um, so if you take that out, we spent $95 in a year for our entire use of the leaf and our electricity in the house. <laughs> so it's a killer combo. <laughs> and, you know, I drive the leaf every day. And it's a great, we have 7,000 miles on it. We calculated, we got about 3,000 free miles um, on the leaf with our solar. So, um, if anyone, I hear that the OEVA group is thinking about um, trying to be a group to get solar electric on their homes, and um, boy, I would recommend it. And go to Solar Oregon because they can give you resources on contractors, and they can give a lot of information about financing. You know, maybe they can even help get that group together um, and get some volume discounts on that panels and all that. So um, definitely use Solar Oregon. They're a great group of people. And they're having an event uh, this coming Tuesday night. Solar drinks. What could be better? Uh, it's on the rooftop of Solterra. And they have pizza and beer. And they'll have a speaker from the uh, Oregon Army National Guard this month talking about some of the solar projects that they're doing around in Oregon. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's a fantastic site. You get a great view of downtown Portland. So I'd recommend you come. And thanks for coming to this event. This is great, great fun. See you later. Thanks, Andy. What's your website? You have a website? Oh, solaroregon.org is the Solar Oregon website. Yay!